After years of back and forth, the $16.1 billion project to build a new rail tunnel connecting New York and New Jersey is finally back on track. But why do we even need this tunnel in the first place? And can the government pull this off without causing a bunch of other problems? Let's find out. The urgency of the Gateway project stems from the pressing issue of congestion under the Hudson River, a vital juncture on the Northeast Corridor. As the busiest passenger train route in the country, carrying over 750,000 daily passengers, the Northeast Corridor is a lifeline for commuters and travelers between Boston and Washington. The existing tunnel, which is over a century old and owned by Amtrak, has become increasingly unreliable, posing significant challenges to the seamless flow of transportation. Also, the significance of the Gateway Project extends beyond the immediate region, as it serves as a crucial link for the entire Northeast Corridor. This corridor not only connects major cities such as Washington, D.C., New York City, and Boston, but also facilitates transportation to and from other key locations such as Miami, New Orleans, and Chicago. The impact of this project reverberates throughout North America as it plays a pivotal role in ensuring efficient and reliable rail transportation. The sheer magnitude of the reliance on the existing tunnel is staggering, with as many as 450 trains at 200,000 commuters passing through these two tunnels each day. This 16 kilometers stretch of railroad from Newark to Manhattan stands as the busiest in North America, underscoring the critical need for immediate action to address the challenges posed by an aging and overburdened infrastructure. So what should we expect with the $16 billion Hudson River Tunnel? The $16 billion Hudson River Tunnel project is a critical and transformative endeavor that will have far-reaching impacts on the transportation infrastructure and economic vitality of the region. This ambitious project is poised to revolutionize rail service, enhance safety and modernization, and bolster economic growth. One of the primary objectives of the Hudson River Tunnel project is to significantly improve rail service by adding a new tunnel and rehabilitating the existing one. This will not only increase the reliability and capacity of train services between New Jersey and New York, but also address the pressing need for enhanced transportation efficiency for commuters and businesses in the region. Also, the project aims to modernize the aging infrastructure, particularly in light of the damage inflicted by Hurricane Sandy on the century-old current tunnel. By meeting current safety standards and enhancing the rail connection, the project will play a pivotal role in ensuring the safety and well-being of passengers and freight alike. Additionally, the project is expected to yield substantial economic benefits by reducing congestion and delays that are all too common with the current single tunnel system during peak hours and maintenance periods. This improvement in transportation efficiency will undoubtedly support economic growth in the region, making it an indispensable investment in the future prosperity of New Jersey and New York. In addition to its immediate benefits, the Hudson River Tunnel Project is designed to fortify the rail infrastructure against future natural disasters, thereby ensuring long-term service reliability. This resilience against potential destructions is crucial for maintaining a robust and dependable transportation network. Its successful completion will herald a new era of connectivity, safety, and resilience for generations to come. However, constructing in New York City is neither the most economical nor the simplest task, and as we have previously established, this particular railroad section is the most heavily used in the entire country. Shutting it down indefinitely for upgrades would lead to a significant transportation crisis in the region. The city streets would experience even greater congestion than they currently do, and New York could potentially miss out on billions of dollars in economic opportunities. So how does the government intend to address all of these issues without exacerbating them further? The government faces a daunting task in addressing the numerous challenges within the rail infrastructure without exacerbating the situation. But they got a plan in place to make sure the whole rail line keeps running smoothly while they work on it. First off, they're breaking it down into different phases. Phase 1 is happening from spring to autumn and involves surveying, designing, and building a test cofferdam. Then there's phase 2, which goes from autumn this year to spring 2027. At the heart of the 16 billion US dollars gateway program is the construction of a new 3.9 kilometers two-tube tunnel under the Hudson River, connecting Newark, New Jersey, and New York City's Penn Station. Additionally, the program includes the refurbishment of Amtrak's existing 113-year-old North River Rail Tunnel, 
which sustained significant damage from Hurricane Sandy in 2012. The rehabilitation of the existing North River Tunnel is a critical component of the program, aimed at enhancing its reliability and longevity. While specific traffic management plans during construction are yet to be fully articulated, efforts will be made to minimize destructions by scheduling work during off-peak hours and exploring alternative routes. Now let's talk about the cost of these grand projects. The conversion of the dock bridge near Newark Penn Station into a fixed structure is expected to reduce train delays with an estimated cost of $375 million by 2028. Also, the replacement of the sawtooth bridges with three new bridges will bolster speed, capacity and safety, with construction slated to commence in 2024 at a cost of $2 billion. The Portal North Bridge, an old swing bridge, will be replaced with two fixed bridges costing $1.8 billion each to improve transit flow by 2027. Secaucus Junction will expand with $1.8 billion investment, adding the Bergen Loop project at $1.3 billion, streamlining transit to New York. President Biden allocated funds for the project with over $292 million already secured and the project has entered the engineering phase with a potential funding of $6.88 billion. With additional federal funding, contributions from Amtrak and commitments from the states of New York and New Jersey, as well as the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, the project has secured the necessary funding. It is considered one of the most expensive public works projects in American history with an estimated cost of up to $16.1 billion. However, the potential benefits are equally significant, with an estimated 72,000 direct and indirect jobs to be created during the construction phase and plans for nearly 5,000 new affordable housing units in the area. The economic and social impact of these developments cannot be understated. What are your thoughts on the Hudson Tunnel Project? Let's know in the comments section.